Earlier this week, New Jersey Congressman Josh Gottheimer testified in front of the House Ways and Means Committee regarding reinstating the state and local tax deduction. Congressman Josh Gottheimer joins us this morning. He is the co-chair of the Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus. And uh, Josh, this is an issue we've talked about many times with you. It's certainly important to a lot of the um, big states, the blue states, where they saw a huge hit after the 2017 Tax Act passed. What kind of a sense do you think, do you get that the administration is willing to work for this, that Congress would pass this, and specifically that the Senate would take it on, too? Well, obviously, I was very glad that the secretary uh, said that she'd work with me and others to look for ways to reinstate SALT. As you know, in, in places like New Jersey and other blue states that got hit so hard by the 2017 tax hike bill where SALT was gutted, so many of our taxes have gone up instead of going down. So what I've been focused on is how do we get taxes down here in northern New Jersey, where we've gotten hit in Bergen County, one of the counties that I represent. The average SALT deduction is over $24,000. So you might imagine uh, why the average tax bill in my district has gone up, not down after that after the tax bill. So we're fight fighting right now on getting it back and reinstating SALT. Josh, I keep running into this. And by the way, I live in Bergen County. I know the issue well. But I keep running into this issue of why the, the heavy lift you're, you would be taking to try and get this passed the far left, who probably doesn't care about lowering taxes on a lot of wealthier people, um, some of the red state congressmen and, and congressional leaders who probably, who we know, they've come on and said, look, this isn't a big deal. You guys, if you want to lower your taxes, you should lower your lo local and state taxes. It's not our problem. And then getting it past the administration, Janet Yellen, who basically said she'd work with you, but you've got to find a way to pay for this. Those are a lot of, of hurdles that you're going to have to jump to, to, to really make this move forward. Are, are you more or less optimistic than you were six months ago? Well, no one said these fights are easy, uh, but at, in the princi at principle, this is a double taxation. It's, it's something that was on the books going back to 1913. Um, I think there's a recognition and, and an interest in the administration in making changes, and obviously we have to pay for it. And I think, in, as we've talked about before, there are plenty of, of other ways to uh, to get there without uh, with, with that include actually reinstating salt. So you know they're going to have there's a lot of proposals coming out of this administration, a lot to do. My my position is simple: if, if taxes go up in my district, I'm I'm out. Uh, if if salt's not reinstated. I'm not going to vote for that legislation. So, um, and there are many of us who who share that position. I know Congressman Swazi was on yesterday. He stressed his concern as well. Um, so, so many of us are are pretty simple about this. You can't, in the middle of a pandemic, when things are so difficult, make things make things harder on us. And as you know well, Becky, since you live in Bergen County, you know United Van Line last year we were the number one out migration state in the country. More vans leaving than coming. Mm -hmm. Our, we're having trouble on growth. You know we've had flat growth and, and loss of population over the last several years because people are going to states where, listen, the red states and these states that mooch a lot from the federal government have done very well in stealing, you know, stealing our businesses. And, and so this is really a line in the sand for me. And I know for many, for many people who feel the same way. Congressman, your own party is not helping, though. The Democratic governor of New Jersey, the Democratic uh, House in New Jersey, uh, raise taxes on the highest income earners. And they did it at the end of the year, and then they made it retroactive for the entire last year. So if you're concerned about people leaving the state, maybe yeah. you should be concerned about that as well. By the way, I, I, a thousand percent agree with that and was totally opposed. <laughs> agree with that, the, your point there, Becky. Like, there, there's no reason that we are raising taxes. There's no reason we've raised corporate taxes, and taxes in New Jersey should be cut, not raised. You know, we want to. We need to really focus on places like New Jersey that have been hit so hard during the pandemic and over these last years. Really, and you can correlate it so you can tie it right to salt, and you can see since salt hit, population out migration, businesses leaving, economic growth down. We need to make things more affordable for people in states like mine. We've got to cut taxes, and the way to do that is to start with reinstating salt. I think that's you know, salt is not just a. And this is something that Becky, to your point. I've talked to people in my party about it's not just for the well-to-do. In my district, this is a middle class. It's all about the middle class. It's, it's firefighters. It's teachers. They've been hit by salt, given how expensive property taxes are in, in states like mine. So, yes, we've got to get costs down in New Jersey. But also, we pay a huge amount of money to the federal government compared to these other states. 
There's no reason why states like ours shouldn't get the tax break. I'm sick and tired of paying the bills of all these other states, and we've been doing it for far too long. I've been playing devil's advocate here because we were having problems with Congressman French Hill's feed, but he is now good, so let's bring him in. This is Congressman French Hill of Arkansas who joins us at the same time. And by the way, both these congressmen serve on the Financial Services Committee, so this is going to be a place where action really gets taken. Uh, Congressman Hill, let's talk a little bit about your views on this coming from Arkansas. What do you think? Well, look, I'm glad to be with my friend Josh. Becky, good to be with you this morning. The whole issue of the SALT was discussed in detail, and the idea of a $10,000 acceptance for across the board was to help as many Americans as possible. It's true we can't help every wealthy person in a very high-tax state like California and New York, but on balance, the $10,000 was a way to protect those state and local taxes for most Americans, and as a result, most Americans got a tax cut in the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act and had a simpler filing because they could take the standard deduction. In Arkansas, we went from seven out of 10 families to nine out of 10 families that could take the standard deduction and have uh, a saving, a tax savings uh, for their annual filing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.